Hello folks, Bob here. Look what I got. Got my tractor all torn apart. Huh, what could I be up to? Well, this past summer when I uh, replaced my HST fan, I uh, really discovered that I didn't like the way I had my uh, battery tender uh, connected to my Kubota. And what I had was probably what most people do, is I had the negative from the battery tender connected to the negative post here, and I had the positive on the positive post. But in order for that to work, I had to split my uh, safety cover there, and, and it just really didn't, I didn't like the way it worked. And so I got to thinking, there's gotta be a better way. And I thought about it, and I thought about it, and a few weeks ago, I come up with the idea, hey, maybe, just maybe, this cable that comes off of the starter, that's the starter, this, this cable is hot all the time. And guess what? It is. Looking at the schematics, it appeared to me that this cable comes directly off the battery. And to prove it, what I did is I got a test light and I connected the one end of the test light to the negative. You could actually, don't have to attach it to the negative, you can attach it anywhere on the chassis that's grounded. Get it over. And so, just to make sure my schematics weren't lying to me, I got in here with my test light and I put it on there. And as you can see, there's a red light in there that glows whenever I touch that stud. So, what I decided to do, I got an extension. I have an extension for the... Uh, battery tender connector and this is the positive and I ran the uh, cable the positive end and the terminal through this grommet and so it's hidden up in there very nicely and then the negative wire I attached here underneath this hose if you could see it back in there that's the negative wire right there kind of shiny a little bit and then I routed, and there's a 25 amp fuse in there. I don't know why it's so big, because the battery tender only has a uh, 750 milliamp, so that's less than one amp uh, of power it produces. So you, you could get away with a 5 amp fuse in there, uh, and it'd be way more than you needed. But I'm just going to let it the way it is. So then I cut the wire ties off of there, the zip ties, if it's what you want to call them. And I put new ones on and I routed that cable up here. I pulled this block out. It's held on by some clips there. So just push them back. I actually pushed the front one back and slid it out. Ran that cable in there. And also when you're doing this work, you need to disconnect your battery. So all I got to do is tighten this negative up on the battery here real quick because I'm essentially I'm essentially done so that's 13 millimeter on the battery terminal here everything was 13 millimeters so I was pretty confident that the lugs that came with, okay, that's good and secure. Now, let me slide that back in. So what I do when I secure these cables, I like to pull them and secure the battery cables. And then what I did, I ran the uh, extension up here for the battery tender and then it's routed 
it's routed down there if you can see that black and red wire and it crosses over and then comes out the other side here okay and so I have another extension cord here now when I plug the battery tender in the yellow the green light goes green that shows that everything's good that you're connected and then it's when it flashes green that means the battery is 80 percent charged and it's going to go to a slower charge until it's full and that's it folks i got a nice clean installation and man am i tickled like i said in my last video it's the little things that make your tractor great and i think they claim and I don't know for sure because I, I, this past winter, I think, was the first winter I ever used a battery tender. And um, for the most part, well, no, I can't say for the most part. Um, I did never have a problem starting the tractor after I started using the battery tender. Before, there were times when I wasn't using it and it was very cold that I would uh, be, uh, have a little bit of a problem turning over the tractor, you know, running the glow plugs and then firing the tractor. So, you know, now all I gotta do, put my tractor back together and it'll be good to go. So it's time for me to clean up the tools, put the tractor back together. If you wanna see how to put all this back together, you can see uh, my playlist that I did for replacing the HST. I covered replacing everything and uh, it's all the same. No use being redundant on my videos. And man, I'm just tickled. I'm gonna get back to, uh, I since, this, since I uh, replaced the HST, the temperatures have been rather mild, you know, above freezing. So um, I didn't think it was crucial to use the battery tender, but it's probably a good idea to keep the battery topped off. And uh, so we'll just see how, uh, by using the battery tender, how long that battery can last. So, well, thanks again. Hey, if you like this video, if you like the idea of uh, hooking the battery tender up directly to that and the cables being a little nicer on top of the battery, hey, give me a thumbs up. Share this video with your friends that have... Uh, BX tractors, and it'll actually probably work on other tractors too. Remember that this electrically is the same as the post on the battery. Electricity is a funny thing. It doesn't matter if you have the fuse here or back at the battery post or back where the uh, battery tender plugs in. Electrically, it's the same. If there's a short circuit, it doesn't matter where in the wire, at what point in the wire the fuse is located, because electrically, it's all the same. And uh, when it's electrically all the same, that fuse is going to, to uh, burn out, whether it's at the uh, beginning of the ba wire, in the middle of the wire, or at the end of the wire. It doesn't matter. It's all the same electrically, and it will trip that fuse or blow out that fuse and uh, protect your uh, electric system. That's the purpose of fuses and circuit breakers is to protect the electrical wiring system and so you do not um, have a fire. Uh, it's a safety issue. So, hey, thanks for... Uh, stopping by once again and uh like i said hit the like button on the way out share it and uh subscribe if you'd like to see more of these videos so thank you very much and have a great day bye now